Hey guys, Steve here. Um, I came across this uh, video clip um, a few days ago on, on, on YouTube. Um, something I had actually brought up on one of my live streams the other day. Um, it was um, the front man of the, uh, the, I guess you call them the pop rock group, the 1975, uh, Matty Healy. And he, and he was talking about, you know, what we know as, you know, quote unquote, cancel culture. Um, and this is this was actually a clip from a, a few years ago, but it was very interesting. I thought his take on 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 the on the matter. Um, he at first off, he was talking about how I guess how online that you know when once you get such a, a, quite a fairly like you get a decent sized following, and then all of a sudden you know you're playing to that audience, the audience that follows you. Um, and and I suppose at that point, you know, you get that thing of kind of like a, 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 like, a like a main character kind of syndrome, um, and you know, you you see yourself as the main character at that point, um, unless you know you you know you're a troll, and then obviously there, the, the the you never see the the um uh you never see an actual real picture of an anonymous troll. You know that's all done. You know, trolls. <laughs> trolls are always always going to be anonymous because, well, it's it's the shame of it. It's the shame of being a troll, right? Um, but he had some real, and uh, he he has quite an interesting take on uh, council culture. So this is what he is what he said. He said, he said, culture recognizes everybody wants to be the good guy, but people don't. But the thing is, people don't really have a bad guy in their life. They don't have a worthy adversary. Um. And then he's talking about, you know, to do with narrative of, you know, uh, you know, to do with the adversary that would suit the narrative of when it comes to the benevolent good protagonist. And then he was saying with cancel culture is that every week culture generates a, a, a bad guy for all those good guys to turn around and go, look how much I hate the bad guy and look how good I am for it. Um so that that was quite an interesting thing, uh, take on things. Um, so this guy Matty Healy, um, he is the uh, son of uh, the actress, TV presenter Denise Welsh, and it's the I believe the actor Tim Healy. Um, funny enough, with this band, um, I hadn't heard of this 1975 until last year, and Christ had been around for about ten years, and and, and didn't know that um, you know that that was the son of Denise Welsh, and um, I hadn't I, I did not know that that he was. This guy in a fairly, you know, big band, you know, they've had big number success, number one albums, but um, his take on things, though, is, is real quite interesting because when, when in, re in regards to the whole stuff about everybody wanting to be the good guy, it reminds me of a quote I'd heard one time is that, you know, someone said, um, you know, we're all heroes in our own story. Um, we, we judge ourselves on our on our. I think he said we, we we judge ourselves on our intentions, and we judge others on their actions. It was something along. It was a quote along those lines, um, and so I understand what you're saying that a lot of us ultimately want to be the bad guy. It's like it's a movie, and you know we we, we see ourselves in that. Um, we have that mindset of we're the bad guy, and I guess other people around us are kind of like. Support, the supporting cast um and it, it is interesting though because a lot of the time when you watch a movie it is just the perspective of, of, of the of the main character what i always found this interesting was the show skins there was never really a main character um it always kind of like um it, each week it would be the perspective the main perspective of one particular character and that would change every week um but it was quite an interesting take on things in regards to cancel culture yeah, I'm with him on that. I mean, because with cancel culture, it's not just the left that does cancel culture, the right does cancel culture as well. And it is a lot of people um, getting their pit getting the pitchforks out, getting the daggers out, and um, and, and and yeah, I I, I don't um, I, I I mean sometimes. As a, I mean, one I suppose you could say that one positive that came from cancel culture is that you know. People like uh, you know, people like Harvey Weinstein got exposed. You know, so there is, I guess, good things to come out of quote unquote cancel culture. But when you try and cancel somebody and like, you know, prevent somebody from making a living when somebody's just made a bad dodgy joke, then then it's gotten too far. 
it's it, it's 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 out of control. And so I understand what he's saying, though, that when it comes to you know everybody wanting to be a g- good guy, and that's why you know when whenever somebody slips up, and they end up being perceived as the bad guy, I guess for all these people that see themselves as the good guys, it's kind of like, you know, the cat that got the cream, you know? <laughs> and, but but both sides are guilty of it. I mean, most people say that the left are all about cancel culture, but the right are about it as well. And um, both sides can be quite bad like that. And, yeah, so it was, it was quite an interesting out there take on things. And you're not, u- I'm not used to hearing many pop stars have this kind of, I don't know, un. I don't know. We say unfiltered take on things, because I imagine in the position that he's in in a top group, he's got to play the game, and he will 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 know when to shut his mouth on 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 when it comes to, when, with a lot of things. Um, but I have heard he's been outspoken when it comes to uh, gay rights. I've heard he's um he's also said stuff to do with um people if you're if you're condemning people who compare I guess abortion to the Holocaust. Um, I wouldn't quite, I w- that's not a comparison I would make, but I, I, I don't know who exactly he was referring to when he, when, when he was talking about that, something that he got really passionate about a, a gig, um, I think, I, I think it might have been in relation to probably old white Republicans he was talking about, but I, I know Kanye West had made a comment about something about, oh, you know, um, uh, the, the the Holocaust, and he was saying, well, you know, Planned Parenthood is the black people's poly- Holocaust. So I don't know if he was referring to Kanye West, maybe he was, but, um, um so the, the, the was, um, so it was so definitely an interesting take there when it comes to cal- cancel culture. Um, I, I, yeah, overall, you know, I, I, out their view on it, um, you know, me and him probably don't see eye to eye politically, on everything he's maybe a bit more to the left than i am but i thought it was a little bit refreshing someone that had an opinion on this topic that was just outside it was you know it was outside the left right paradigm it, i like that i like when people can think for themselves and, and just you know have a unique perspective on things but yeah th- th- those are my thoughts guys let, let me know what you think on, on this matter when it comes to what you what you think about cancel culture uh, hit the sub, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be, going to be real more active when it comes to content. And I think my next thing will be now will be to get uh, start. I'll, I'll start working on that uh, Will Smith video, the dark side of.